How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be reviewing the Cabolt Rolling Toolbox. We'll go ahead and just jump right into the specs. So we're going to go over the specs of the Cabolt Rolling Toolbox. Weight capacity is 110 pounds. Width 21.5, length 17. Height without handle extended 26.7. Height with handle extended 38 and 7 eighths. Depth is 17.2 for the overall depth. Weight is 19.8 pounds. Cubic inch storage space, 3,334.5. Wheel size is eight inch all-terrain wheels. This can be picked up at, for $105.44 at your local Lowe's. And I could not find any warranty information out on it, so I don't know if there is a warranty or if there is not. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump on to the testing after this short clip. We're just going to do a quick uh, little deep dive of the damage just suffered from the drop out of the back of a pickup truck with 50 pounds in it. This one actually done the best. There was no major damage to think of or see that I can see. The tray still intact, so it just it scuffs it up a little bit, but other than that, it's, it's still good. So the only damage that's really even there on the entire box is the handle right here scuffed up and then also there's a fine crack going through the handle right there and stops about right there other than that you got some dirt on it it's scuffed up a little bit but it held together the best out of all of them which i was seriously surprised about the weight capacity for the Cabolt is 110 pounds, and that's just what we're going to test out real quick and see. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, hundred and five. There's 115 pounds. Uh, I don't have five pound weights, so we're just gonna go with that. So this is the weight capacity for the Cabalt. And handled it with ease. So now we're gonna bump that weight up a little bit. There's 80 pounds. So that's 160. And I can't do math apparently. Nor have a writing apparatus.
All right, so we have 275 pounds. And this is rated for 110. No problem at all. Damn it. Well, there were 80 pounds. Damn thing wanted to bust open on me. Okay, so you got 25. 50. 75. 100. hundred and ten. Plus 80, so you're at 190, plus 115. Whew. 305 pounds. She doesn't like it, but she's doing it. I gotta improvise because I don't have enough weight, so don't judge me. There's 40. Three hundred and forty five pounds. I said it, it does it with ease, not ease. Well, Box does it with ease. I have issues moving it. So even, even if you jerk it back, it's still it's not making any noises, not acting like it wants to snap on me. Some call that a pass. Here we have the cabal. We're going to do a drop a cylinder block on it and see what happens. We're going to do three drops from six foot and then one drop from eight foot, give or take. Uh, the block weighs, this one weighs 39 pounds because the DeWalt destroyed my other block. So, drop number one. Drop number two. Ooh, that was almost bad. Brand new camera, not even a week old, and just about smoked it. That would have made me happy. Drop number three. Drop number four from about eight foot. And hope this doesn't kick out the ladder from under me. All 
right, so real quick, we're going to go ahead and just do a deep dive of the damage it took from the cylinder block. Uh, I will say the Cabolt seriously, seriously surprised me. It's one of the cheaper options, and yet it held up better. I got one more to test, but it's beat all the others so far by a long shot. As far as actual damage goes, this little plastic piece is the only part on this box that came off. I say broken. It looks like it'll snap back on. And it does. So, yeah, as far as damage, it scuffed up the top. Like I said, you got scuffs here and there, but there's no visible cracking. Everything still works the exact same, nothing. Yeah, I mean, this thing's a freaking tank. I did notice, though, and I don't know if it, this happened during uh, when I was lifting stuff or if it's from the impact from the from the cylinder block, but that wheel's, for the most part, touching, and this one right here, I'm not sure how easy you guys can see it, but I mean, it's, it's pretty angled in there, but as far as actually rolling goes and all that, it's still just fine. Uh, by far the easiest to move with heavy weight versus there's others that I'm not sure just because the box is bigger, but it's the leverage isn't as good as the Cabalt. Uh, as far as handling damages, this is the only one that didn't have any damage to it when we dropped it out of the bed of the truck, the other four all had some damage in sh one shape, way, or form. Sorry, I can't talk today. Uh, and especially the, uh, the uh, cylinder block test, this was the only one, well, I can't say only one, still have one more test, but this was so far the only one that has not had any damage other than a few scuffs from it. Everything else... Well, I mean, if you guys watch my other videos, you'll see that the DeWalt, the cylinder block went through the top of it. The Master Force absolutely just got wrecked by it. And the Craftsman wasn't as bad, but it still had massive cracking on the lid itself. Versus the Cabalt, no damage other than, like I said, a few scuffs. So for your money, you can't go wrong with the Cabalt. This thing, seriously, I said it before, but it seriously impressed me and surprised me. I didn't think it was going to do as good as... Well, I didn't think it was going to be better than the others, I thought. And I, had a, I kind of thought that uh, you'd have like your DeWalt, big name brand, higher price. It would stand up to the competition. Well, I guess it would set the bar for the competition. You know, you'd think buying a big name brand with a big, price, big brand name price tag. But in this case, it did not. And that's one of the reasons why I started this channel was to see what tools are worth money, what tools aren't. And... Right here's a prime example. Not the most expensive, but as of right now, I'm gonna say it's the best one. Right now it's tied from Milwaukee. Like I said, I still have to run a few more tests on that. But right now it looks like this one will win everything. Uh, if you guys liked it, uh, if you guys like this video, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if you guys have any tools you wanna to see me test, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can get those and make that happen and if you guys want to see any tests anything anything you guys want <laughs> gee whiz let's try this again if there's any tests that you guys would like to see me do on tools let me know in the comments as well like i said i'll get back with all you guys let you know if it's a possibility not going to happen things of that nature uh, Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.